Hi, I've just finished the new Percival Everett book that comes out on the 11th of April and it's James and it's a reimagining of the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn I suppose it's it takes the character of Jim from Huckleberry Finn and gives him his own voice. I must have read Huckleberry Finn when I was a kid. Um, I, I don't know. I honestly can't remember whether I did or not. Um, we all sort of basically know the story or bits of the story of um, Huckleberry Finn, but it doesn't matter if you've never read it for this. Uh, the book is described, I've seen it described as being funny. But I didn't find it funny. I found it hard to read at times. I found it quite harrowing even. Um, in Huckleberry Finn, Jim is the slave. And is very much the secondary character almost, I believe. But here, he's the main voice. We hear his voice throughout and he is not the the Jim that we are led to believe he is in the Huckleberry Finn book. Because here, he's not Jim, he's James. He reads, he writes. In his dreams, he has dis philosophical discussions with John Locke. He looks after his wife and his daughter. And he's got comp compassion for those around him. So it's a very different man that we see here. The book opens with extracts from um, Daniel Emmett's notebook, all written in say, slave language. Um, he's the guy who wrote I wish I was in Dixie, which is ironical because the, he's a white man writing words for the slaves. He is writing as he thinks the slaves are talking. Um, the way that, so you get the idea that this is the way that the masters expect the slaves to talk and act. They're expected to to be a certain way and the book opens with Jim, James, on Miss Watson's veranda waiting for her for cornbread um, and he talks to her in the way that she expects, the way the saves talk. But once he's in his own space with his wife and his daughter, then he talks in an in intelligent, eloquent way. There's uh, I, the novel's described as funny, but it's but there is one humorous part when he's teaching the children how to talk slave, how to talk to their masters, because you can never forget the James Jim is a slave that he has owned. So when he learns that he is going to be sold, sold away from his wife and his daughter, he decides to run away. And he is joined by Huck, who is also running away from his abusive father. And the beginning of the book is it, it does follow the adventures of Hug Finn with the, the first adventures as they're going down the river and then it moves off, it deviates. And Jim James knows that he has to, that the way he talks impacts the way that the others see him. So he's always very careful to talk slave around Huck. But as the no novel progresses, the author pulls no punches. Um, there are graphic scenes of violence, murder against the slaves. 
And at times it is really, really harrowing. And the ending, wow, the ending is just... I really enjoyed her. Uh, if enjoy is the right word, because at times it was hard to read, really hard to read. There were certain parts of it that were hard to read, but yeah, I, I, I can see this novel being on prize lists. So um, that's James by Percival Everett. Sorry, James by Percival Everett, and it comes out on the 11th of March. Sorry, 11th of April. So if you get a chance to pick it up, do. So happy reading. Take care.